Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about our story, Watching in the Wild. So if you remember from the story, it is about Jane Goodall. And Jane decides to move to Africa to watch chimpanzees. So Jane is very young and she, actually she's 26, and she decides to move to Africa to the Gombe National Park where she has heard that there are so many chimpanzees and she wants to go watch and learn about them. And a chimpanzee is a kind of ape. So that's what a chimpanzee looks like. And she just wants to sit and watch and experience um, how they live their lives. So she gets there and the chimpanzees are scared of her. They're not coming out, they're very shy, and she's not really seeing anything until finally she starts to see half-eaten fruits that are underneath trees where the chimpanzees have been eating. And so she decides to wait for a while and just watch from kind of far away um, until the chimpanzees start to get used to her. And as she's watching all of these chimpanzees, she noticed that they build nests to sleep in every night. So the way that a chimpanzee builds a nest, they take branches and then they weave in smaller twigs to make uh, these nests. And Jane would wait until the, monk, the chimpanzees left in the morning and then she would climb up into the tree to look at the nest and see how they were made. So she got to learn a lot about these chimpanzees. She also noticed after a while that they all had different personalities. Everybody was different. And she decided to give them names, which typically uh, that wasn't very common. They, uh, scientists would only give animals numbers. But she, because they all had real personalities, decided to give them real names. So here's a picture of David Graybeard, and she named him this because of his gray beard. Uh, so she really paid attention to who the chimpanzees were. There was also one who was really raggedy, um, kind of beat up a little bit, um, hurt, and her name was Flo, but she noticed that she was an amazing mom, so she decided to name her Flo. Uh, she, after a while of watching the chimpanzees, she also realized that they use tools. So this was really exciting because nobody had ever seen an animal besides humans use a tool before. So what she noticed the chimpanzees doing was taking a long piece of grass, a long stick of grass, and putting it into a termite mound right there, which had bugs in it that the chimpanzees wanted to eat. They would put it in and then pull it out and there would be termites on the end of it. So they would pull it out and eat it off of the grass. So it made it easier for the chimpanzees to have food. Uh, and again, she was really excited because this is the first time that anyone had seen an animal do something like this. So it was really cool. She also watched, they had, they used leaves for different things. They would use leaves to um, blow their nose. If they had a runny nose, they would <laughs> blow their nose on the leaves. And then she also realized that they would use crumpled up leaves, leaves that had been crumpled uh, to soak up water and then drink the water. So they had all of these different tools that they would use every day to make their lives easier. And it was really cool to watch the chimpanzees use these tools. And again, after about 40 years of watching, Jane realized that the chimpanzees actually had family groups. So they would stay together in these um, communities where they all lived together. They had mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister. Everybody would live together in family groups. And they would also make friendships. Like these, these animals, these chimpanzees had really, um, a really, intricate life um, and they were just all different and it was really amazing so to be able to watch for 40 years watch these chimpanzees live and she just she learned a lot to further how we understood chimpanzees